Hey, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily create a rectangular or square shaped frame for Canva that is whatever size that you need. Over in the Canva elements, there are already a bunch of frames available for the rectangle or square shape, but sometimes, I know for me, it's just not the right shape. I use these for um, creating mockups. I use Midjourney to create mockups and um, with AI, and then I often need to create my own frame to tweak the mockup and make it my own. If you wanna learn more about that, it will be linked down below the video, but let me show you how you can create your very own frames in the exact size that you want. One of the issues I found is that there are videos on YouTube showing us how to create custom frames and they you know, compile together different shapes that are unique and that's really helpful, that works out great. But when I tried to do this for a, just a rectangle or square, it didn't work. And I found out that that is because Canva does not recognize naturally a square or a rectangle as a frame. It's this wonky little thing and there is a little bit of a workaround and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to your Google Slides and open up a new document. You are going to insert an image. It can be anything, it doesn't matter. So I'm just grabbing a random image. And what we are going to do with this image to make it the shape we want is we are going to mask it. And that is part of the workaround. So what, we, what I mean by that is we are going to add a shape over it to basically create a frame here in um, Google Slides. So what you're going to do is come up to this little crop image tool and to the right of it there's a tiny arrow. Click the arrow, click shape, and then choose the shape you want. So since we're focusing on rectangles, I am going to choose a rectangle. Now it looks like nothing happened, but when I click that it actually put a rectangle over on top of this plain image. And that is the mask. So if I had done it um, with a circle, here, it would have been more obvious. So it would have done that. So it's turning it into a mask. So I'm gonna go back and do it as a rectangle because that is what we are trying to create. And it has masked the image. Now I can turn this into whatever dimensions that I want it to be. So whatever shape that you need your image to be for your Canva frame, you're going to make it here. The very next thing we are going to do is we are going to rotate this just a tiny little bit because that is the workaround. So as I mentioned, Canva doesn't recognize a frame as a rectangle or a square, but if we cock this just a little bit, it throws Canva off of its axis and we can then, it'll recognize this as a frame. It's the strangest thing. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to save this as a PDF. Um, actually, the best way to do that is to go to print, save as PDF. We're gonna click save and save it on our desktop. And now we can pop back over to Canva. So what we're gonna do is we are going to click create a design. We will click import file. We will click the document we just created and click open and it will load into Canva. We will click on it. Now when I click on this image and highlight it, when I click on the image, I can click delete and the place saver will go. And now we have our frame that we can pop anything into. Um, of course, we can rotate it back to 0%. How easy was that? And we have the exact shape we need. I noticed sometimes they can be a little finicky, so if you have to click on and off of it a couple times to get it to activate and delete that original frame, that will get you there. So I hope this was super helpful, and I hope you have a great one. Thanks so much.